In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a simple menu for your website. To begin with, um, we're going to go to the insert panel in the page and we're going to choose uh, navigation from the set of HTML um, objects. I'm going to click navigation. Um, the insert navigation window pops up here and we're going to insert our navigation menu after the header tag. So make sure that the header tag is selected here and then it says after that tag. And in the ID field, we're going to type in the name of the menu and I'm just going to call mine main menu. Seems like a pretty good idea. So main underscore menu. You can call yours what, what, whatever you wish. Click OK. Um, with the main menu still selected, we're going to go straight to the CSS Designer tab and add a rule for it immediately so that it matches the rest of the elements on our site. Um, so to do that, we click on the plus symbol next to the uh, selector and it comes up with main menu. We hit return and we're going to go straight over to the layout um, properties, choose width. So make sure you have layout property selected, the width property. We're going to click on this, go to pixels, choose 750 pixels and click on the margin properties and choose auto left and auto right. You've seen that before. So now we've got our menu um, underneath the header um, with the content selected, uh, for the main menu, we're ready to add our menu in there. And while it's selected, just go ahead to the insert panel again. And this time we're going to choose something called an unordered list. Choose unordered list, and you notice it gives it some padding so that we can work with it uh, there, um, and a bullet point. And you can just go ahead and start typing your menu items while it's selected. I'm going to enter home. Um, I'm going to have a page called About Me. Oh, too many capitals. Uh, I'm going to have a gallery site, a gallery page. We need one external page, so we'll have a link to, I'm going to put a link to Columbia, but you can put it to Columbia or some other site, external site that you like. And then the last one, we're going to have a contact me link. So once you've added your menu items, select them and we're going to go back to CSS Designer panel and we're going to click on the plus symbol to add a new rule for our unordered list. When you click on that, it should say main menu. So in the main menu div, UL for unordered list and LI for the list itself. So this should be the exact rule and just leave it this time. We're not going to overrule it. And we're going to go to create a new rule for this. Um, we're going to go to um, oh, hit return. And now we're ready to add a rule for it. And what we're going to do in order to make this work properly, we're going to go the, to layout display property. So that's the layout property and display with the main menu ULLI selected and you're going to choose inline from the list of options. And you can see now it, it has made these um, this unordered list horizontal and all we're going to do now is we're going to want to space those apart a bit and I'm going to go down to the padding property and padding left I'm going to add 50 pixels um, to that and that's spaced out my um, uh, menu uh, options here um, fairly well. Now you can tweak this however you want. You can add a few more pixels. Your menu items may be a little bit different to mine but this is good enough to start with. So now if I preview this in the browser I should well, it wants me to save. Yes, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to save my style sheet. 
And so sure enough, there I have my header, my menu options, and uh, main content area and footer. So all is looking good so far. 